Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about comparison of work done in reversible and irreversible expansion. We know that work can be done in two process, reversible and irreversible process. But in which process work done is maximum? We need to know that. So in this video, we are going to compare the work done in reversible and irreversible process. Or simply, we are going to see whether work done is a state function or not. So let's start. We know that the reversible process is a kind of process in which the driving force is infinitesimally greater than the opposing force or simply this process happens in infinite step and in every step the external pressure decreases slightly. So the gas has to expand against higher pressure all the time that's why it has to do more work. But in case of irreversible process, the external pressure decreases suddenly and the gas has to expand against that new less pressure. So work done by the gas is less. So theoretically, work done by the gas in reversible process is greater than the work done by the gas in irreversible process. Now let's prove that mathematically. We know that the mathematical form of work done in reversible process is and rt ln p1 by p2 i have already made a video about this you can please check the link in the description below now this form can be rearranged as n r t ln 1 minus 1 plus p1 by p2 we have added and subtracted by 1 to change it into a mclaurin series so it can be written as n r t ln let's take this minus as the common so it will be 1 minus p1 by p2 now this is in the form of mclaurin series that is if there is a form 1 ln 1 minus x then it can be expanded as minus x minus x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 minus x to the power 4 by 4 and so on that means whatever value is being subtracted from 1 we need to change its uh, we need to increase its power by 1 each, in each term and the that value that term is divided by the same number and all the signs should be negative but what if the value of x is very less then x square x square will be even more lesser and x cube will be even more lesser and if they are being divided by some number then their value is very small so they all can be neglected so ln 1 minus x can be written as minus x so here if we apply that form so how much will we get there is minus so let's take minus over here and x means 1 minus p1 by p2 so it can be written as 1 minus p1 by p2 because we know that the change in pressure p1 and p2 the difference between change in pressure is very small and if they are being subtracted from 1 then that value becomes even more smaller so these terms can be neglected now it can be written as an rt let's multiply this two terms by minus so it will be p1 by p2 minus 1 now it can be written as an rt p1 minus p2 by p2 let's consider it to be equation number 1 this is for work done in reversible process now let's see the work done in irreversible process that is the fast process the work done in irreversible process has the mathematical form n r t 1 minus p2 by p1 this is the mathematical form of work done in irreversible process now we can rearrange it and we can find a value p1 minus p2 by p1 this is the value that we get over here right let's consider it to be the equation number two now to compare the work done in two process let's find the value of w reversible minus w irreversible that means we need to subtract the work done in irreversible process from the work done in reversible process let's check what do we get work done in reversible process is an rt and this much value work done in irreversible irreversible processes nrt and this much value if we subtract we can take this nrt as the common so it will be nrt <coughs> this value that is p1 minus p2 by p2 p1 
पी वन माइनस पी टू बाई पी टू माइनस पी वन माइनस पी टू बाई पी वन राइट नाउ लेट्स डू द कैलकुलेशन एन आर टी हेयर दिज दीज टू आर ऑन लाइक फ्रैक्शन सो वी कैन टेक पी वन एंड पी टू एज द एल्सियम एंड डू द क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन P1 into P1 means P1 square. P1 into P2 means P1 P2 minus P1 into P2 minus minus plus P2 into P2 means P2 square. Now this can be written as an RT. Here, what do we see? P1 square minus 2 P1 P2 plus P2 square means P1 minus P2 whole square by P1 into P2. So we get this much of value. Now let's examine this value. N R T. These are positive quantities. Pressures are positive quantity, and there is a square in this. That means it will always have a square value. That means when we subtract work done in irreversible process from work done in reversible process, then we always get positive value. So. W reversible process minus W irreversible process is always greater than zero. It is always positive. So it must have the higher value, and this must have the lower value. So W reversible process must be greater than W irreversible process, right? So what do we get from here is that work done in reversible process is always greater than work done in irreversible process. Now you might be thinking. What if we subtract W reversible from W irreversible process? Let's check that. What do we get? Okay, let me erase this portion over here, and let's find the value of W I R R minus W R E V. So it will be an R T. And here, what do we need to write first? This value that is P one minus P two by P one minus P one minus P two by P two. Then what do we get? An R T P one P two. So P one P two minus P two square minus P one square uh, minus minus plus P one P two. So we get this much. So it will finally be written as an R T by P one P two. If we take minus common from here, it will be P one square minus two P one P two plus P two square. And finally, it can be written as minus n R T by P1 P2 and P1 minus P2 is whole square. So what do we see from here? N R T P1 P2 are all positive. This value will always be positive because there is a square, and this negative sign or will always make it a negative sign. That means if we subtract W reversible from W irreversible, we always get negative value. So what do we get here by this process also W reversible? is greater than w irreversible process so by any method we can prove that work done in reversible process is always greater than work done in irreversible process and this proves that work done this proves that work done is not state function work done is not state function why because all those variables which does not depend on the path are called the state functions here work done depends on the path that means if work done happens in reversible process then obviously it will be a greater value if work done happen in irreversible process then obviously it will be lesser value that's why it depends on the path that's why work done is not a state function or simply it is a path dependent variable so by mathematically we prove that work done in reversible process is greater than work done in irreversible process now in my next video i'm going to show you how work done in reversible process is greater than work done in irreversible process graphically as well i hope you understood everything about this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video